Always gotta show the vent. Always, always gotta show the vent. You know what I'm saying? February 21st, 2018. Episode number 14. Take the pizza. I'm your host, Mike Stiggs. Gotta plug this in over here. Alright, got the headsets on, microphones on. This week started off a little crazy and uh, 2 in the morning I'm driving home. You know, Monday morning. And uh, the guy's pushing a little dirt bike motorcycle on the side of the road and he's got his helmet on. About an eighth of a mile, I come up to a red light. Look in the rear view mirror. Here's the guy riding the motorcycle now, coming up on the right side of me. So I look left, I look right, nobody's coming, and I blow the light. Why? Because that's how people get robbed in Brazil. I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube and Live Leak, and it's always guys rolling up on motorcycles. Usually there's two people on the motorcycle. You got the guy who's actually driving the motorcycle and then you got the guy on the back and then he hops off. He rolls the guy or the girl and then he hops back up on the motorcycle and then he, they drive off or they ride off. And uh, you know, if I've seen the videos on YouTube and Live League, I'm sure other people have seen them. So you know, you got to watch your surroundings. You know, I ain't going to sit there and wait and see what he's doing. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's 2 a.m. It's Monday morning. You know, nobody's coming in either direction. Why stick around? It's like a 50-50 shot that he was going to try to roll me. But, you know, I'm always uh, 14 steps ahead of everybody. So that's the way, you know, New York City street smart. That's, uh, you know, and then... And then the internet's smart with YouTube and then Live Leak. So, then, uh, so that was Monday. And then Tuesday, or actually Monday night, my water heater breaks. You know, my house is, what, 15 years old, 14 years Bought it brand new. And uh, six years ago, my water heater broke. I replaced it. And it had a six-year warranty. And it find out, look at the receipt, you know, take a copy, because, you know, you get the regular receipts, you know, in six years, they fade out, so, you know, you make a copy of them, and then you put it, you know, in one of your files, and then you see how, uh, you know, I pull out the receipt, and six years expired on January 13th, so it lasted six years and one month and a half. You know, today's, uh, you know, the 21st. So, yeah, so six months, six years, one month, and and a week. So that thing expired. So I had to go buy another another water heater, right? So the water heater comes out to uh, $600, $601. And then I got a guy uh, for $240 to install it. You know, because you got the gas lines and all that. So, uh, $841 for a, for a water heater and to install it. You know, Mariachi was looking around. Some people wanted $500, $600 to install the thing. Get the hell out of here with that shit. And uh, so I found the guy that'll do it. And then, uh, you know, so $841. And I'm thinking... You know, the big news story still going on is the school shooting in Florida. And, uh, you know, I hear everybody talking about this side, that side. You know, everybody wants to ban guns and ban this. And, you know, people saw something. They said something. Nothing happened. Police interviewed the guy multiple times. He put stuff up on social media that he was going to be doing this and doing that pictures of his guns and everything so there's a lot of red flags out there and uh, it still got done but here's the question I have that nobody's asking all right 
the guy was kicked out of school, so he didn't graduate high school, right? He's got no job, he's got no car, but he could buy a thousand dollar rifle. There's my question. Eight hundred forty-one dollars for a water heater is a lot of money, you know. I I make money, but this guy doesn't have a job, but he could throw down thousand dollars on a on an AR. So that's uh, that's a little strange right there. So now, uh, okay, so he doesn't have a car. He lives a half a mile from the school. So uh, how did he get there? Did he walk there? Walk down the street with a you know three foot rifle on his back or something, or uh, or did he get an Uber ride or a lift? You know, and the Uber driver pulls up in front of the school. Don't forget to give me a good score. Don't forget your gun in the back seat. Or, or maybe he's like, I don't like a gun, so you could put that in the trunk. You know, so I don't understand how he gets the gun over to the school and all that. But, so that's the thing. Did a little research. You know, everybody doesn't like the school shootings and all that. Anyone doesn't like any mass shootings or any shooting. You know, the only shooting is good is if, you know, you go to a range and you shoot at targets. Or you're doing, you know self-defense but if you you know mass shootings and all that uh, all those people could all go to hell and uh but that's what everybody's talking about this and that so i researched a little thing all the school shootings you know you had columbine those were students that did that you had sandy hook the guy uh was 20 years old this guy that did florida was 19 years old and then if you remember the Virginia Tech guy, uh, he shot like 30 people or something. And uh, that was like 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, Virginia Tech, the, the college, he was 23. So most of these, or all of these school shootings, everybody's, you know, 23 and under. So there's the easiest fix right there. You can't have guns unless you're 25. That's it. You know, taking guns away from everybody, that's that's not going to work. That's uh, going to be a lot of mad people over there. But, uh, you know, or just make the AR, you know, $2,500 to buy an AR. You know, a 19-year-old shouldn't be able to get a $2,500 AR. So jack the prices up or something. You know, if you really want an AR... You throw down twenty five hundred dollars, you know. Then those people, you know, probably be afraid to shoot it because you know they they don't want to get it scratched. So that's what I say. So uh, you gotta be twenty five to buy an assault rifle. Actually, they had they had a band on it, so then they should just, you know, maybe you should buy a gun, and after ten years, then maybe you could go up to an AR. You know, after they see, you know, for 10 years you had a gun, you didn't do anything stupid. And then, you know, there's a lot of things you could do. But, uh, you know, everybody, if they're against guns, they're like, take all the guns away. All right, I'm a gun guy. Fine, take all the guns away. All right. What are you thinking? Nothing's going to happen after that? You're out of your mind. But, go ahead, take all the guns away. I don't care. I'll find another hobby. I used to race cars. I'll go back to racing cars. But uh, so that's what's going on here. It's, uh, they're still talking about all this thing, and uh, Jimmy Kimmel crying and all this. It's, it's crazy. They're not gonna. They're not gonna change anything. I said it last week. They're not gonna change anything. And it's not about money and about votes. What is it? Ten or fifteen percent of the country have guns. And how how is this not banned yet? If only fifteen percent of the country are gun people, how does it still win? You tell me that. So that's uh, that's what I want to do for this episode. Throw down a couple minutes here. Yes, you know, twelve twenty at night here. Twelve twenty a.m. Wednesday morning. I got things to do tomorrow, so I can't do a. 20 minute video. You know, last week's video, I only got like, I only got like 20, was it 20 people watched it? Yeah, I figured after, you know, I started doing this in November, take the pizza, 
and you know I'm giving out the sports picks and all that you know I, it was football season you get a lot of views you know a lot of people bet football so right now you know I don't follow basketball so I don't give out basketball picks I can give out hockey picks nobody cares about that stuff but uh, so my views are going down because you know football season's over you know half the people watching the video were uh, just sticking around for the picks. I even said that. If you started watching from episode one, two, three, and four, I say, you know, I do the picks in the beginning. You know, after the picks, the people want the picks, they bail out. If, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna sit there looking for all this stuff, you know, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna wait 10, 15 minutes for the picks. So I throw them out at the beginning. You get your picks. You're on your way. No big deal. You click play. I get the view. All right. So it's a win-win. Right. So the more views, uh, the more money you can make. <laughs> I've made zero. Zero dollars doing this stuff. So, uh, good thing this is not my day job. Or my night job. So that's, uh, that's the pick thing. Give out picks in the, the football season. You know, more, a lot of people stick around for the picks. And they went, they went 21 and 10. I threw in some hockey picks in that too. 21 and 10. That's a good uh, that's a good breakdown right there. So that's why a lot of people aren't really watching this now because I'm not giving out football picks because football season though. It's not a lot of people betting hockey and I don't even promote it for a hockey show. So I'm not going to, you know, tomorrow I'll probably yeah, take action on Vegas over Calgary. But uh, yesterday I had Vegas, they lost, and I had Nashville and they won. So I won one bet, I lost the other bet. And then today, the hockey standings is, so everybody's jumping on the Vegas bandwagon now. So it's, uh, you know, Vegas is still number one in the West. Tampa Bay is number one in the East. And uh, Vegas is just sitting tied for second for best overall record. Hockey's not going to work in Vegas. That's what they all said. And I said, you don't know what you're talking about. Here it is, the biggest sport now in the city because it's the only really professional sport. I think we got soccer here now, but I'm not, I don't follow soccer. I follow the World Cup. And I think Italy didn't even qualify for the World Cup. And uh, Iran was won 1,700 to 1 to win the World Cup. I put $2 down on that. <laughs> I don't think they won one game. But uh, I, I saw 1,700. Hey, put $2 down. Big deal. In New York City, I used to pay forty dollars to park a car. Actually, Vegas is now starting to charge to, for parking. It's like, you know, you go to, go to a show or go down to the strip, and you go gamble and you pay, you know, fifteen dollar drinks, and then you gotta pay thirty dollars to park the car. So you know, two dollars. What's two dollars? Two dollars is nothing. It's like two hundred pennies almost. So that's uh, so it didn't win seventeen hundred to one. That year, I actually had money on uh, on Italy, and they won the World Cup. It was about two, three World Cups ago. And they do the World Cup every four years. So if I'm still doing this podcast, next year, I think the World Cup is? Where is it? Next year? All right. I think he said next year. He's got to look it up. But it's, you don't need to look it up. I, who cares? If, it's either next year or the year after. No big deal. So that... Uh, that's going to be the show for today because, uh, you know, it's almost 1 in the morning. i got to get this uploaded, and that's all uh, I'm going to talk about today because I wasn't going to do an episode today, but i got too much, too many things to do. So that's why it was technically Tuesday night to about 24 minutes ago. So now it's Wednesday morning, and I don't, I don't like the way it is. It's, it's, it's 12.24 a.m., but really... So it's uh, Wednesday morning, but really to me this is still Tuesday night. It's not Wednesday till I go to sleep, and then I wake up. It'll be Wednesday morning. So this is still Tuesday night to me. I'm Mike Stiggs, and next week I'll do a real episode. And there's the there's the vent. And remember, every Wednesday, take the pizza. <laughs>